Hello and welcome to this short video titled The Actors Involved in an Arbitral Process. In this video, we shall look at the various individuals that are typically involved in the conduct of an arbitral proceeding. First, we shall look at, of course, the parties, because without the parties, there is no dispute to speak of. We shall look at the claimant and the respondent in turn. Second, we shall look at the legal representatives of the parties, the lawyers. Third, we shall look at the decision maker in the arbitral process that is, the arbitrator. Fourth, we shall look at witnesses, including both fact and expert witnesses. Finally, we shall look at some other actors that are involved in the conduct of an arbitral proceeding. This can involve, for example, tribunal secretaries, stenographers, as well as case managers. Coming to the first uh, category of actors involved, that is, of course, the parties, we will first look at the claimant. Now the claimant in an arbitral proceeding is the party that initiates the dispute. Now the claimant seeks a relief or a remedy from the arbitral tribunal. This relief or remedy might be in the form of, let's say, money that is owed to the claimant, perhaps an injunction prohibiting someone from doing something, or perhaps simply a declaration from the arbitral tribunal that some wrong has been committed. Now typically, when it comes to costs involved in an arbitral process, both parties will bear it, but when there is a default by the other party, the respondent, the costs will lie on the claimant to bear. Now the other party to the proceeding is of course the respondent. The respondent is the individual opposing the claim. The respondent will seek either a dismissal of the claim or perhaps will have a counterclaim as well. Now, as I said before, where the respondent is in default of the costs and does not pay the costs, the costs fall back on the claimant. As an aside, it must also be noted that the respondent can choose not to be involved in the arbitral proceeding at all. In such a circumstance, the arbitral proceeding will still continue However, it will continue in the absence of the respondent and is called an ex parte proceeding. So those were the parties involved uh, in the arbitral process. Now second, we will look at their legal representatives or the lawyers. Now it must be noted at the outset that there is no requirement per se for lawyers or legal representatives to be involved at all. But where they are involved, they must be specifically authorized by the parties to represent them. Now, what do the lawyers do? The lawyers will make arguments before the arbitral tribunals and they will make legal submissions. The lawyers must not make any assertions that are unsupported by evidence in fact or in law. Further, where a party wishes to make a settlement, the lawyer may not make such a settlement without obtaining the specific consent of the party in question. Finally, it must also be noted that the primary duty of the legal representative is not to the party concerned, but rather to the arbitral tribunal itself. Lawyers must also follow a code of ethical rules and conduct when conducting themselves in the arbitral proceeding. Next, we shall move to the decision maker in the whole arbitral process. This is the arbitral tribunal. Now the arbitral tribunal can comprise of either a sole arbitrator who is in charge of making the decision in the dispute, or for example, it can involve three arbitrators, in which case a presiding arbitrator is chosen to preside over the decision-making process. Now it is the duty of the arbitral tribunal to ensure that fairness is implemented in the decision-making process. It is very important that the members of the arbitral tribunal are independent and impartial and they are unconnected to any party in the dispute itself. Next, we shall turn to the witnesses in an arbitral proceeding. Now, there are two kinds of witnesses that are involved in an arbitral process. The first kind is the fact witness and the second kind is the expert witness. Turning first to the fact witness, 
Now, the fact witness is an individual that gives testimony on a factual matter relevant to the arbitral proceeding. The fact witness is put forth by either of the parties. Now, the fact witness must take uh, an oath to speak the truth in the arbitral process. And whenever they are making statements, they are bound by this oath to speak the truth. However, their evidence cannot be taken at face value by the arbitral tribunal and must be tested through, through cross-examination in the arbitral process. Turning next to the expert witness. Now the expert witness is an individual who has expertise in a specific area that is relevant to the arbitral proceeding. The expert witness may be appointed by either of the parties or may be appointed by the arbitral tribunal itself. Now it must be noted that the duty of the expert witness is to the arbitral tribunal and not to any of the parties. The expert witness is an independent witness. But much like the fact witness, the testimony of the expert witness cannot be taken at face value by the arbitral tribunal and is subject to cross-examination and testing. Now those were the witnesses involved in the arbitral proceeding. We shall now look at some of the other actors that, are, that can be involved in the arbitral process. We shall look at, in particular, stenographers, tribunal secretaries and case managers. Coming first to stenographers. Now stenographers are employed in the process of a physical hearing and they will transcribe what is happening during the hearing. Turning next to tribunal secretaries. Now tribunal secretaries will typically assist the tribunal with administrative or logistical support. They may also assist the tribunal in conducting legal research. It must be noted that tribunal secretaries are in fact quite uncommon in India at present and need not necessarily be involved in the arbitral process. Finally, we shall look at case managers. Now case managers also provide the arbitral tribunal with assistance, administrative or logistical. They may also assist the arbitral tribunal in let's say reviewing the award. Case managers are however specific to institutional arbitration which we shall discuss in future videos and aren't uh, typically present with ad hoc arbitration. So those are all of the actors and individuals that are involved in an arbitral process. Now please take this short quiz to test your knowledge on this topic. Thank you.